hello friends welcome to our channel so today's video we are going to talk about json validation by using a post so let's let's uh, get started so before going to uh, learn about the validation using a postman of json schema we will learn about what is the json and the json schema right so let me open the document over here so we'll write it down over here everything so if we talk about the json so what is the json so basically json is a javascript object notation i can ri write down over here this is java and java basically is a lightweight format for storing and transporting data json is often used when data is sent from a server to web page json is not a programming language remember that okay sometimes we confuse that json is a programming language or not but json is a not a programming language it is a common and open standard format for storing and exchanging data okay so json is a language independent remember that okay so now there are some rules which we always remember whenever we work with the json so uh, the rule number one let me write down over here for your convenience the rule one data is always data is in a key value pair remember that okay so basically what uh, it doesn't mean and it's always always in double quotes quotes followed by column followed by by a value okay we'll see the example how this is going to work okay so let's talk uh, it will show in this way name double quotes name column and the value of and double quotes let's say john right so this is how we are going to use it okay and if you talk about the others okay the second rule data is all separated by comma remember that this is second data is separated by comma how is how it is be uh, let me show you so if i say name and the value john comma another one age 10 comma I would say hobby is again in comma which is okay so now you can see this is the way now the third rule is object starts with starts and end with curly braces curly braces right like we have seen in this example this is the example and the fourth rule is array starts with start and ends with bracket square bracket right this is how so these are the some of the rules okay which you can see right the array is like if i say this is my array let me copy this okay i'm going to create the array in this case control v okay uh, i'll this is this would be start with this one okay and comma again control v if i copy this again 
and test it over here right so this is my array as well now let's understand what is a json path okay this is let's take an example of uh, we'll create it okay and we'll take the example of this what is a json path okay so let's get started in this so let me open the another uh, example over here okay and let me write it down one example so we can understand what is a json right so i'm going to create an array over here okay this is how i'm going to create it so let me create give the name students okay this is what i'm giving a student colon now i'm going to create array over here a student array okay so in this what i'm going to give let me paste it because this is the value we have used it. so i'm changing my, my name over here as a mike this is name i am changing it i'm giving the age is 11 and let's change the hobby let's say how the hobby is hockey okay so this is my json basically right so now what is a json path let's understand this it's a specific value or a data in a json okay. we can either we can create a json path manually or using a tool like json path finder okay so i'll show you uh this is the tool which is a json path finder i have mentioned this link into the description box so you can copy from over there and you can use it so let me uh do something okay this is i already have okay so this is my json which i have pasted over here okay you have to uh like minify if you click on the minify it will show you in this way if you can beautify this so this is will show in this way okay and whenever whichever the value you want specific value or data you just click over here and you can see that this is your basically a json path for country right if you click on this it will change okay students one dot country so it will show you that okay the, in the array the indexing is one for this particular value right so basically you just need to copy your path over here and you can put it into that way right now let's talk about the what is a json schema so basically json schema is a contract let me write down over here okay json schema talk about json schema is a contract for json document that defines the exposed expected expected data types and format of each field in the response right so this is a basically what json so for json so how is going to work it let's talk about this one okay so it describes the existing data format with the clear human and machine readable documentation for complete structural validation useful for automated testing and validation validating client submitted data right so how is going to work it let's take exam another example of this let me copy this okay there is another site which is uh, provide an online tool which is json schema.net over here you have to log in with your credentials and then you have to paste it like let me paste it over here so i have pasted my json which is a json valid json now i can you know uh, get the schema in the json format or i can get a yml format or either i can get a xml format so let's do that for json so you can see okay uh, let me refresh it because okay now i click on submit so it will provide me a json schema for this so now this is my json schema this is you can see it's provide me each and every detail everything 
okay if you want write a description the age schema you you can write it over here so this is the basic my schema over here right so now let's talk about why json schema validation required this is one of the mm -hmm. most important thing to understand why it's required so json schema validations required there are a few reasons first we monitor api responses and ensure that the format that we are getting is same as the expected one okay so the basic thing is the format which we are getting of the response that to ensure that this is the expected one second we get alert whenever there is any breaking change in json response okay this is the another reason for that and the th last reason would be to construct a model for api response and it makes easier to validate that api is returning the valid data okay so these are three reasons which you can understand use by you know based on that you can use a json schema validation okay now let's talk about what is a json object okay what is a json object so in our case we have to talk about the json object so in this case you can see name age these are my object right and if i want to make it possible uh, make it this schema of this how i'm going to do it so i just need to copy it this is the one which i have created so let me copy this one i copied it i go to on that side where i can click on the reset so i can write on my json this is a valid json okay now if i click on it it will provide me my schema json schema right so this is my json schema okay so now how i'm going now how we are going to validate my json schema through the postman let's go and see it okay so in that case i'll take another example let me create a first let me create an example over here and i'll take the example from the red request red site this is uh, one of the online api site where you can see the different kind of request okay based on that and you can use it freely so let's take an example of this so i'm going to click over here and you can see that okay so this is i'm going to take paste it over here this is my post request so i have done the post so there is a border body over here so let me see the body for the create one so i'll take this one as a body So in the body i'm going to click on body select draw over here the format json and i paste it over here so this is my json body now okay so now this is the thing now for writing a test case before i need what i need to do is so this is my response so let's copy this response because we are working on this okay i need a schema of this so what so you can write down your own schema or you can ask to your developer team that provide a JSON schema so you can directly use that schema for validation, right? Or otherwise, you have if you have a response sample response for any API that you can use it and convert it, uh, receive get it your JSON schema using this site and you can use it. So, this is how I'm going to use. So, let me call co co select copy this, okay? Now, let's come to write a test case. So over here, I'm going to write it. This is PM where we use always in PM test, giving the name. This is schema validation. So this is the name of my test case. Now I'm going to write. See to know the more details about what I'm doing. You know how we're going to write a test cases in JavaScript you know doing the automation into a uh, postman i have already uh, created a one video on that in a detailed way uh, i've given a description link in the description box so you can go and uh, check it out video to, to uh, more about the automation using postman okay so sorry this is right so now we are going to write so for that before that what i need to do i have to create a variable let me create a variable 
give it the name as a schema and I'm going to paste my schema over here which we have copied it right so this is now this is my test case which I'm going to write so write pm response which provide me a response so response to have dot json schema json schema and comparing the value of with the schema right now this is how we are going to check whether my test case is going to be ex executed in this way or not so let's see that okay so i'm going to execute my test case i run it so you can see this is the response which i get it okay and let's see the test you can see the test is one out of one is passed now let's do something different and try to make it fail so in that case what i'm going to do is i'm going to change so in this case this is something uh, the by default one okay so let's take example and uh, we'll take this json schema which is completely different what we are receiving a response in our api request so this is the one let me copy this over here we'll go to postman and let me remove the entire one right so i'm going to remove this entire schema from here right so i'll just remove it now deliberately i am putting a wrong schema over here to make sure that my test case will fail and see how it's going to work it okay so this is my schema let's click on this we'll see so in the body you can see my i get the response right status is fine 201 this is a created okay this is you know this is a successful request i get the response correctly but when i talk about the test case so it's fail and giving me a reason json schema validation expected data to satisfy schema but found following error data should be should have required property check data should have required property dimension data dot id should be integer so you can see that for wrong json schema we have got a failed result in that case right so this is how we you you can check your schema json schema validation for your any api request and you know uh, as before we have discussed that why is required so it give a better advantage whenever we are doing automation testing and running our api request for a multiple set of data that time this validation you know uh, schema validation is very fruitful for any kind of api testing so this is so far uh, for json schema validation uh, thank you very much so uh, for motivation of our channel please subscribe and share and if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get more notifications of our new videos thank you very much